Welcome back, Geordie lads, and today we're going to be reviewing the 1 0 loss to Manchester City. So let's get straight into this reaction. So, it's a 1 0 loss, not the best of games. We did play quite well, to be honest. I know quite a lot of people, there's been quite a lot of things going on in the media side, and that is the reason why, pardon me. That is the reason why I've waited a few days to do this video because I knew the media would be on it. Well, I seen the media on the Sunday morning, and then I'll, this way I've waited till, t well, the, the media kicked off yesterday, and this is why I've waited till today so I can get the whole thing for it and give it all to you guys. But we'll get to the media in one in a couple of minutes. Anyways, so. A one no loss. Not not the best performance. We did play well against the best team in the world. Come on, they just win the trouble. Anyone who's seen Manchester City are not the best team in the world. You just want need to understand football. For whoever says that, by God, get gone. Go and watch the NBA. Go and watch basketball or hockey or ice hockey or rugby or whatever. Other sport, just don't watch football if you want to say Manchester City are not the best team in the world. Right, there's a load and load of bad things going on, but we'll get we'll get to those in a bit. I thought personally we played quite well. First half we didn't get a sniff, it was more just City going left to right, left to right. And Alvarez, to be honest with him, it was a pretty decent finish. Pope got a hand to it. But it was just not enough, and it threw into the left, top left, I think. So, you know, what can we do? It's Manchester City, for God's sake. It was unbelievable. Anyways. We're going to... Let me quickly say who I thought didn't have the best of games and there was some days it wasn't at the races on Saturday we'll go with that there wasn't at the races that was Isaac he he played a blind against Aston Villa I thought he didn't play too well against was it I think it was Fontina, I think he didn't play well against. Just on Saturday, he didn't look like he wanted to press for you. But we'll start that out of him very quickly. I know Eddie Howe, I know the coaching staff, I don't know them personally, but we all know what they do. They're all going to snap it out of them just like that. Then I thought when Longstaff came on, he didn't have the greatest of games. It was a, probably our, one of our best players of our season. And not expecting it either because people like Miggy, people like Murphy, Joel Linton. All us as fans were all said them three would be one of the first three to go. Let's be honest with you. We all would have said that. It would have been bye bye and gone. But they have turned into world beaters. And that's the same with Longstaff. But he just what, didn't have the best of games when he came on. That's fine. He, he'll get back to his best. To Norley after after getting the man out of the match. Against Vard didn't have the best of games. But to be honest, every player's going to have a bad game, guys. We can't blame the players. I play football. I quite a, quite a lot have a bad game. Yes, most games I play good, but every player's going to have an off day, and this is what the thing that I'm going to get off on to. So let's just jump into the media side straight away. So, so NUFC 360 put up a post. I'll put it here for you, right there. And if you cannot read it, it says something like, shall these players be dropped? And as you can see, 
Bruno's on that picture. And on Twitter or X, whatever it's called now, it used to be called Twitter, and now I think it's called X, in quotation marks. Whatever it's called, Bruno seen it and replied. And it says something like, we, we, people are forgetting that we've got Champions League football to offer. These what must have some kind of short-term stupid memory. See, when I was one of your favourite players and now I'm getting picked on. Something like that. It was something along those lines. And... And to be honest, I've seen 99% of people have agreed with Bruno for that statement. He stood up for his teammates and for himself. That's it. He stood up. But there's a small 1-2% to 2 of people, 1-2, to 2, who are picking on him, saying he hasn't had a bad game, he went to a barbecue with Barcelona representative, this, that, and the other. It's quite easy to find a video online. You watch can go and watch it. The guy's just doing it for clicks. Everyone knows that by now. Anyway, so we'll move on for that. Basically, people think, oh, he doesn't want to be at the club. He doesn't care about the club, this, that, and the other. Listen, guys. Bruno states that he wants to be a legend at this club. A total legend. He's not going anywhere. But, obviously, Bruno's seen it. Also, obviously, getting back to the point, Bruno's seen that post and went off it. I read through the in Instagram, what you call it, Instagram um, comments, and a load of people were going mental. I, I went mental as well. It's just a big overreaction. So, people who are doing this, and say this in the most nice way, way I can put it, get out of the club. Just, you're not a proper fan. Yes, we can all mention these players and play the best. This is what they need to improve on. And hopefully they come best. Hopefully they become the player that we all know the can be. We can't just be saying, oh, they don't care about the club, they're looking to move to Barcelona next season. Guys, we forget players might have something behind the scenes that we don't know. Personally, I think, also, we all know Bruno's had a little boy called Mateo. He'd be coming one, one year old in October, I think. If I remember correctly. So. How can I put this? Yeah. So. It's, there's, there's a there's a possibility that his little boy is just keeping him awake all night. And he's not getting the best of night sweeps. And he and he's just knackered. He's absolutely shattered. And playing 19 minutes week in, week out. Training almost every single day. He needs a rest. Bruno just needs a break. He, he, he's playing at the highest quality, one of the best Premier League central midfielder, probably behind Kevin De Bruyne. He's the second best midfielder in the league, in my opinion. Better than Casemiro, Declan Rice, all those. He's better than all of them. He's better than Martin Odegaard. He's better than all of them. Some of you might say that's biased. In my opinion, he is. Only KDB or yeah, KDB is better than him, in my opinion. So he's probably just tired. Right. So, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys like and subscribe. And if the comments are on down below, please let me know which side you are on. Bruno's... You're on the... NUFC 360 side or my side? What side you want? Put that down in the comments. And anyways, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.